Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting math problem involving solving equations of higher degree, which may look difficult but it is perfect for beginners. Here is the problem. Solve for x, where x power 6 equals x minus 6 to the power of 6. Before we uncover the solution, I encourage you to hit the pause button, grab your pen and paper, and give it your best shot. When you're ready, feel free to share your answers in the comments. Then we'll explore the solution together. Let's get started. Upon inspection, if x equals 3, then the left hand side is 3 to the power 6, while the right hand side is 3 minus 6 to the power 6, which equals 3 to the power 6. This means that x equals 3 is a solution to the equation. The only question is x equals 3 the unique solution? If yes, how to prove it? If not, what else are the answers? Note that this equation is actually a degree 5 polynomial equation. So, by the fundamental theorem of algebra, there are altogether 5 solutions. There are many methods to solve this equation. I suggest the following. Write the left hand side of the equation as the difference of two squares. Hence, it can be factorized as x power 3 plus x minus 6 power 3 times x power 3 minus x minus 6 power 3 equals 0. The first factor is of a form a cubed plus b cubed. Using the formula a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared, we have the following. The second factor is of the form a cubed minus b cubed. Using the formula a power 3 minus b power 3 equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared, we get the following. Finally, we have x minus 3 times x squared minus 6x plus 36 times x squared minus 6x plus 12 equals 0. This means that x equals 3 or x squared minus 6x plus 36 equals 0 or x squared minus 6x plus 12 equals 0. For the second answer, by completing the square, we get x minus 3 squared equals negative 27. So x minus 3 equals plus minus i times 3 squared 3. And hence x equals 3 plus minus 3i times squared 3. Here we obtain two complex solutions in the second factor. For the third answer, we get x equals 3 plus minus i squared 3 by using the same technique. That concludes today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more exciting math challenge in the future. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.